You know what? I'm gonna let this speak for itself. Like to know how to do that? Hello, my fellow tarnished, my fellow masters of the ways of the primeval current. Sorcerers, one and all, hear me, for today I instruct you in the ways of unlimited power. The ability to one-shot any boss with one single spell as you essentially break. Elden Ring. In order to achieve, well, this incredible feat of sorcery, well, you're gonna need eight things. Yes, eight specific things. Think of it like assembling the pieces of Exodia. Ah, impossible! So, number one, you're going to need 60 int. That is quite a simple requirement, though it might take a bit of farming runes to make it happen, but at least 60 int. You want as much as possible, so any talismans that can raise it, any gear that can raise it, any Thing that can just pump it as much as possible with a minimum of 60. The second piece of the puzzle then is uh, the uh, magic boosting talisman found in the school of sorcery. From the wolf boss fight Grace, head out the way you came, and there is a series of bookshelves. Or on the right is a fake wall. Yes, that's right. Real fake doors, that's us! And then once you go up the ladder, you can go to the back of the room, jump over the railing, drop down, drop down again, and nestled in some crystals is the talisman of our desire. Following that then, you need a very specific glintstone staff. Lusat's glintstone staff, in fact, and this glintstone staff can be- Have you ever said glintstone staff loads of times? Even just then glintstone staff. I, I, look, I'm trying my best here. And this can be found in the village of sorcery over in the east of Kaelid. Once there, you're going to want to take the optional boss, the double fight with what becomes just a normal trash enemy later on. On, and once you have beat them, the room at the back that will unlock contains a chest, and within that chest, you got it! Lusat's Glintstone Staff. We want this one specifically because it increases the damage of all sorcery, but it does make them cost extra mana, which won't really be relevant for this, so it's just a free damage amp. Of course, then, you want to upgrade this staff as much as possible. I got mine to plus nine, which you can do just from the first three zones, and that is plenty powerful, so pump that staff. Next up, then, you want Azur's Glintstone Crown. This is a helmet that you can grab after completed Sorceress Selen's questline on the spot where Azur's body is originally. The reason you want this hat is because, well, you guessed it, it boosts the power of primeval sorceries of the Azur nature. And indeed, since it's Comet Azur that we'll be using to pull this off, this is just free extra damage. Which of course means that a key piece of the puzzle here is the spell itself, Comet Azur. You get this spell, which costs 60 int, hence that being the minimum requirement from Mount Gelmir. It is quite the winding, wending run, though pretty much just a straight path, as long as you keep, well, following it, and you will get to him, have a rousing chat of complete silence staring at what is quite clearly a corpse, and then you will learn untold power. Just, you know, a normal Tuesday afternoon. Finally, this spell, indeed, is actually the key component in beginning the Sorceress Selen's questline, which will then take you to eventually getting his helmet. If you would like to know how to do that entire questline, the requirements, the steps, where you go, what you get, well, just yesterday, I released a guide for that very purpose. I will link it down below, so if you want to go as far as the absolute min-max here and get Azur's hat for that tiny extra boost, then do that. If you are okay okay doing everything but getting the helmet, then you don't have to worry about the quest line. just come to his body and get the spell. Then after that, we are after a another spell entirely to synergize with this entire strategy. 
and that spell is known as Terra Magicus. It will place a large zone on the floor, and if you're stood in said zone, your sorceries get a massive, and I do mean massive, damage boost. So this very much is needed. You get it from a cave over in the lakes, you unlock the cave with a stone sword, and uh, once you get to the end, beat the boss, there will be a lift that can take you up into the academy itself, but on the outside, follow the path up the ladder, and you will find it in a chest on a lonely tower top. So, we're almost there. Now we must address our flask of wondrous physic, because there are two specific tiers that we need to mix in as the final spark for this powder keg. The first is a simple damage boosting for sorceries one. You get that from the Erd Tree in, again, the lake zone right here, and it drops along with a couple others from this Erd Tree boss. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Easy. The second, then, after Mage's Shrouding Cracked Tear, is an even more potent, even more special tear. And it is the Cerulean Hidden Tear. And hidden it is. Back to Mount Gelmir for the Urge Tree that is there, located quite centrally over to the right of Volcano Manor. This is the closest grace site, and you just head up and fight yourself. Not so much a little Urge Tree this time, but a full-on Fleshwood Slug. Once you have bested him in battle, you collect this uh, tier. And why this tier is so important is for 10 seconds seconds, your spells, your sorceries, will not cost FP, which means you get to hold the Laser of Doom for 10 seconds. Mother of God. Mix those up in your wondrous physic, and you are ready to go along with all the previous steps. How this basically goes then is we have a 60 int, we have a spell damage boosting ring, we have a spell damage boosting hat, we have a spell damage boosting staff, we have the spell itself, we have our spell damage boosting spell, we have our spell damage boosting physic, and we have our mana cost eliminating physic. You cast Terra Magicus on the ground, you drink your physic, and then you fire! Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. <laughs> and that is one hell of a recipe for destruction yes indeed now don't get me wrong if a boss is very agile very flippy very movie if he is fully focused on you slashing your face off as you try and set this up you're gonna have problems but any single boss that you can either a keep distracted with either a summon or something else for long enough to get this going and it's not like it takes that long you have to cast a spell drink a potion and then fire you will just kill any boss where you can sneak up on them and the first attack that starts the fight is you firing the laser you will just kill it's hilarious it is powerful and most importantly it is just purely fun become a primeval master sorcerer glintstone god with me and show those apes of strength and dex that they're just not quite at our level Alright guys, I hope then you have enjoyed this. I hope you feel inspired to make it happen for yourself. If you do, let me know. And please consider subscribing and hitting that bell, keeping an eye out for future Elden Ring tips, tricks, guides, builds, and some such goodness. Like if you did enjoy this, and if you'd like to see us stick around, please consider supporting the channel on the Patreon linked below. It really does mean the world. Until we meet again then, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.